ladies and gentlemen, get ready for another absolute battle in the cage. This bout is three five-minute rounds in a catchweight war. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of one win and no loss. He stands 186 centimeters tall and weighs already 86.5 kilograms. Representing Venom Training Camp, Bulgarian top team, and fighting out of France. Give it up for Jorip Pupleya! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, his fans of mixed martial artists with a professional record, up for wins and two losses. He stands 182 centimeters tall and weighs already 86.6 kilograms, representing lifestyle and fighting on a Beppe Italy. Give it up for the killing machine, Enrico Your referee is Lee Doyle. Cage doors closed. We are ready to go and let's let these two behemoths off the chain and out one another. There we can see that movement from Yorick. Big takedown attempt from Enrico. Has to be wearing the neck. Huge moment, Phil. This is a huge moment. The first takedown attempt was stopped. Body lock from Yorick. Charging Enrico against the cage. This is a central part of Jorick implementing his game plan. If he can stop from getting taken down, he's halfway there. The other half is creating distance between the two fighters. Just right in front of us here in our broadcast position. Monster strength being shown against the brave cage. Big knee up the middle from Yorick. Just, oh, oh big applied. knee coming back. That was a serious pop knee. Hands connected from Enrico. May look for a trip take time. Just forcing Yorick to carry that weight. This may look like not a lot's going on, but this is one of the most testing, grueling aspects of mixed martial arts. Publius pushed up against that cage, but he's still giving back, and he's got an underhook. Now he's halfway off that fence. Moving off the fence can be very tricky. He's got to watch he doesn't get take, taken down during the little scramble. And this is potentially a really interesting technique from Yorick. Try and wear the arms out of Enrico. Get them to fill up with blood. Get them to fill up with lactic acid so he doesn't quite have that pop. If that's his game plan, it's very intelligent, but beautiful Yorick elbows. Single. Heavy elbows, we can hear him from here. Up! What balance from Enrico, beautiful work. Sambo Fighters got the balance of a mountain goat. The Italian's doing well to defend that single. Heavy hips pressing forward. You're Trying to switch from a front headlock to a guillotine, not there yet. Took it down and he's there! Beautiful transition. The killing machine is in top mount with three minutes left in the contest. May attempt that. That mounted guillotine decides to let go, could take the back. Beautiful strike from Enrico from the back. Tremendous power. Spin an elbow attempt from Yorick. But Enrico like a dog with a bone. Phil Publius coming off the floor like that shows extraordinary core strength. Enrico needs to be wary of leaving his neck in there. Yorick more so just defending right now. You can see what Enrico's trying to do. He's trying to bump Yorick off the cage and use that momentum for the takedown, but he's in on that single now. We may see him transition. Yep, tries to go for the ankle pick. Oh, Beautiful there's that knee. knee we saw earlier. Serious crunching knee from Yorick. Phil, I am so impressed by Yorick's anti-wrestling by his ability to stay from getting taken down and bring it back off the ground when he is taken down. He's very, very impressive. May give him a chance to implement his best game plan. 
needs to be wary of the, the head on triangle standing, but yes! jumping knee from Yorick. What a shot! En Hope we get a look at that on the replay, Phil. Enrico must have missed the buffet lunch because he just ate up that knee. Yorick trying to pummel in for that underhook just to raise the level of Enrico up a little bit. And you know, we did see an elbow to the back area, unlike boxing, where strikes the kidneys are illegal. There's an area about the self, uh, about the size of the width of a cell phone running down the spine. Anything that hits the back without hitting that is legal. That was a legal shot. Nice switch from Yorick. Just presses Enrico against the cage now. Both these men are incredible athletes. Level change from Yorick. He's trying to get in on that single. Jorik appearing to show the greater aggression now against the Brave Cage. He needs, he needs to run the pipe on that single. Beautiful balance from Enrico. And just as I say that, he lands on his back. Jorik inside the guard, landing elbows. Enrico has a foot on the hip to try and create a little bit of distance. The killing machine, of course, is known for his strikes. He does have an opportunity here to show if he's got a guard game. Less than 30 seconds left in this fight, Phil. You can see York just happy to sit inside. Clues guard of Enrico. George Corner exhorting him to pass that guard and do something exciting. It's very solid advice. He doesn't want to run this round out in top mount. Excuse me, top guard. Enrique complaining of some sort of an infraction there to the eye. But trying to fight off his back. Referee didn't see anything. That's the end of the run. Jork, on the other hand, looks ready to go. It'll be interesting to see if Enrico still has that one-punch knockout power in the second round here. Big overhand, a swing and a miss from Jork. Oh, there it is, shot landed. Nice movement from Jork, trying to keep on the outside. Trying to keep his foot on the outside foot of Enrico. Swing and a miss again. Pressed up against the cage. Yorick changing levels, trying to score that takedown. We may see him reach for the ankle. But again, fantastic balance from the big Italian. Killing Machine's got a figure four in that arm. Gave it up. May look for a trip here. Yorick just clamping onto that leg. Killing Machine trying to get his, at the very least, a front headlock. Being denied it. Yorick using the long, long limb length to get un under his opponent, try and drive him down to the ground, and he's getting close. Nice awareness there from Enrico to split the base a little bit when he was standing square. Maybe in on a baseball bat choke here, a 10 finger choke. Oh, that looks tight. It looks like it's underneath the chin too. How much does he have in the arms? Decides to let it go. But that question was answered. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful Killing take Machine time. is down on the ground. This is not where he wants to be, obviously. The scope here for Yorick to pass. But you can see Enrico just trying to keep that knee shield to create a little bit of distance. Right in front of us here in broadcast, you can see Enrico has a hold of that neck. Seems to be using it more so as a stall right now. 
Jorik, of course, looking to pass those knees. Fantastic. Lost that opportunity. Fantastic wrestling from the Frenchman, but again, Enrico, any chance he gets, just thundering in those elbows. Enrico just landing those little pot shots to give Jorik something to think about. Jorik does not want to spend the fight in this position. Some judges will view it as aggressive and looking for a takedown. Other judges will see him eat shots to the head and say he's losing. It's not where he wants to be. He wants to get the takedown or back out and try something else. If he connects the hands, we could see a big double. And he got the takedown. There's a scramble. Dumb Can he hold it? Enrico works to get back, back to his feet. Back up. But again, Yorick is relentless with that takedown. Scores another takedown. Phil, both these fighters are, as you so well put it, relentless. The killing machine has not stopped striking from standing, from bottom, from against the cage. But even, even, even when Yorick grabs the takedown and Enrico manages to get up, you can see Yorick just relentless with it, dives on it, chases the takedown beautifully. And it's a very smart, it's a very smart game plan when you're going in against somebody with one punch knockout power. It is smart, but some judges are going to view his trying to get a takedown while he's being hit as losing the fight. Some won't, but he's leaving this in the hands of the judges. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive with his takedown attempt, get on top, and then rain some punches down. Hands are together, he should be able to get one more takedown. Enrico does well to get to his feet, but as you say, the hands are connected. Is the takedown inevitable? There we see, you can see a big dump takedown. Down to the ground. Beautiful work from Yorick. I'd like to see him posture in this position and get off some strikes. Now Jorik needs to be aggressive. Some judges will see a takedown, and if it's not followed by aggressive action, could, they could even term the takedown passivity. We need action from Yorik. His corner is exhorting him to posture back and throw shots. He's got a brilliant corner telling him exactly what to do. Let's see if the fighter listens. Nice short elbows from Yorick. He's doing well just to keep his hips over the hips of Enrico, keeping the hips square, just forcing Enrico to carry his weight. 30 seconds left in the round. I'd like to see Yorick land a couple more strikes. There he goes, his corner was telling him, pull your head back behind your knees and then attack, finally he's doing it. He needs just a little bit more of this. Enrico with the foot on the hip, trying to create a little bit of space. But Yorick so far, just completely shutting down the, the offense of the killing machine right now. And around two. And around two, Phil, it was another exciting one. Oh, this was a little more technical. Big breath for Enrico. He looks seriously fast. The corner team of Enrico just charging in, picking up their fighter. Both fighters are sparring. Feel of this fight so far, you can see Enrico clearly exhausted. Yorick with the head are nearly exhausted. I tell you what, they're searching for the sample crowd fighting in the third round. This time, he had a blind face. Wrestling work from Yorick. Every time he was able to take that, more often than not, he was scoring his big runs. He had a little bit of punishment. But this must be so frustrating for Enrico. It's also frustrating for the judges. My guess is whoever wins this round wins this fight. But judging by the pattern of the last round, I think we're going to see Enrico take the initiative a little more, but Yorick just smiles at him. Someone like Enrico does have the potential for that one-punch knockout power, always dangerous. This watch out for that big left hand from Enrico. This is not where Jurik wants to be. That's where he wants to be. Beautiful work from Yorick. It's almost as if he baited Enrico into charging forward, used that momentum, changed levels beautifully, and scored the takedown. 
That was absolutely tremendous takedown. Phil borrowed a little bit from pro wrestling, I think. Bounced off that cage, but now he is reversed. Now we're gonna get to see if the killing machine keeps that head forward in front of the knees and throws little shots or takes a risk, postures back and throws big ones. Big wave There's shots. There's the posture back. Club Here comes the big shots. Clubbing shots from Enrico. His coach is just screaming for him to throw more shots. It's a risk reward here. This is one of the most perfect examples of a risk reward in mixed martial arts. If you posture back, you can throw big shots, but your part, your opponent can do a knee shield. He can, he can stand, so it's risk and reward, but you cannot knock your opponent out from the ground unless you posture back. You can see Yorick trying to time one of those big overhands. Every time Enrico goes to posture and throw one of those big strikes, Yorick seems to open up the hips to try and create an angle. He may be looking to set up an armbar off one of those big shots. Fighter on top was just protecting the top of his head from an elbow. That's not the look you want to show to, to impress the judges. You need to be offensive when you're inside the guard. And there it was. That's a big shot from Enrico. The judges need to see a little bit more of that. But again, the hips opening up of Yorick. Phil, I want to see a little more body, body, head, and a little less head, head, head. Got to set those big looping shots off. They take a little while to land. Enrico, there you go. Enrico needs to square off his hips against the hips of Yorick here. Phil, those elbows are targeting the floating ribs. It is painful, even from the short distance they're thrown that you see in front of you. There's body the body and head. head. Jurik may be looking for a knee shield now, but he's not allowed to because the killing machine is all over him like a barnacle on the side of an old boat. <laughs> Big shot, but again, he needs to be careful of overextending on those, on those shots. Yorick can't keep flat backing like this. He needs to do something offensive. Both men are clearly tired. Right now, with two minutes left in the fight, it comes down to who wants it more. Jorik, I think wisely, laying back, catching his breath. I think he's going to try something explosive in the next 15 or 20 seconds. I think he's caught his breath. He's using his legs to control his opponent's hips, which is, of course, the definition of guard. Yeah, throwing some light shots. To the top of the head, those elbows are perfectly legal in that position. But right now, even aesthetically in the eyes of the judges, Yorick has spent most of, most of his time off his back in this round, so if the layperson's looking at this, they're, they're going to assume that the guy on top is winning. They will indeed. Yorick right now needs to do a submission attempt or a sweep attempt or possibly a spectacular stand-up, but he's not winning the last minute or two of this fight. I think he's trying just to bide his time long enough to set up the arm bar off one of those overextended shots of Enrico. That may have been the submission attempt. First try was not adequately set up. Neither was it naked, but it, it wasn't close. Was that the last push from York? Does he have anything left in the tank? For the amount of time spent on top and the amount of shots landed by Enrico and the positional control, potentially could we be looking at a 10 8 round under the new scoring criteria? I don't believe there's been enough damage sustained to call this one a 10 8, mm -hmm. but that could end in the next 30 seconds. That could change. I think when Short time now, Phil. I think when Enrico hears it, oh, stand up from the, the referee. referee. stands him up. There's going to be each fighter has a couple of seconds to do something spectacular, Phil. The crowd is shouting with anticipation. Here we go. Who wants it? Enrico charging forward. There it is. Very intelligent from York. 
Brave Cage. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scores about 29-28. Next judge scores about 29-28. And your last judge scores about 30-27 for a unanimous decision victory. Out of the red corner, the killing machine, Enrico! <laughs>